Before going any further in TypeScript and its features, I want you to have an overall view of what is the big advantage of using TypeScript. So imagine that you are a JavaScript developer, that you develop your programs in plain JavaScript. You will notice that the language is constantly evolving, meaning that there are new features that are being added to the language that are not implemented all at the same time in all the browsers. And you can only use the new feature when it's available basically in all browsers, otherwise your program would break when you run it into certain browsers and not others. For example, let's take a look at the state of adoption of the let keyword. We head over to caniuse.com, which is the recommended place to go to find out if a feature is well supported across browsers, and we type in here let in the search bar. We might be surprised to find out that the let keyword is actually already available in most browsers. But what about other features that we're going to cover in this course? Let's take for example another feature which are arrow functions that we will cover in detail. But it's a feature that we would like to use today. Well, take a look, it's not supported in Internet Explorer 11, which is still very used in the internet at this day. So we run into this situation where we have many separate language features, each one being developed independently and added in its own schedule to different browsers across the web. So this means that in many browsers we could already use the feature, but not in others. Well, we would like to be able to use the feature today. TypeScript helps us with that. And in what way? The TypeScript compiler takes the new features and converts them into plain ECMAScript 5 JavaScript. So let keyword is converted to var. And each feature has its own way of being converted into plain JavaScript. So this ensures us that we can use the new feature of the JavaScript language today and it will still work across all browsers because the TypeScript compiler converted the feature into something that can be run in every browser. So that's one of the big advantages and one of the big reasons for using TypeScript. A second common reason to use TypeScript, a second big advantage of TypeScript is the ability of defining types like the name indicates and that advantage is already present here even in this very simple program so this variable message has the type string because it has been initialized to a string the compiler has implicitly associated to the string type so if you now go here and for example try to assign it to a number you will get an error and if you over over the error you will see here type number is not assignable to type string if you head over to the command line and you compile the program again you will get the same error that we are receiving here on the IDE. So the error message on the console should be consistent with what you are seeing in the IDE. We can see how this would be useful. The type system of TypeScript is helping us build a more correct program. It's helping us catch bugs while we develop our program and not at runtime. Also notice that we did not have to tell TypeScript that this variable was a string that was detected automatically, so this feature is known as type inference. But we could have also declared the message as a string by using a type annotation. So in this case we are explicitly defining the message variable as a string. We are no longer relying on the type inference feature of the compiler. But if you are a JavaScript developer, you might be thinking at this point that sometimes this is exactly what we want to do. We want to be able to pass in either a string or a number to a certain configuration API and let the caller handle the fact that those might be two different types. So with TypeScript, we don't lose the flexibility of doing these kinds of things. We can still do it. We can declare here that this message variable is either a number or a string. As you can see, we no longer get any errors in the program. This feature that you saw here in action is a union type and we're going to cover that in detail. I hope that now you have a better overview of what are the advantages of TypeScript. That was really what I wanted to transmit to you in this short lesson. So let's quickly summarize the advantages of TypeScript. 
You can use new features of the language today without waiting for widespread browser adoption that might take a lot of years. You can use types in your program to help you write a better program with less bugs. You have inferred types in your program so you can take advantage of type safety even without using a lot of type annotations in your program. You still preserve all the flexibility of plain JavaScript if you still need it. You can still do everything that you could do in plain JavaScript in TypeScript. And last but not least, you can actually build your full application with it. You can build the front end and the back end with only one language, which would simplify tremendously our life as software developers. So how do we take it from here? Because there are so many features in the language, how do we approach the learning of the language? Let's start by exploring the new features of plain JavaScript that we can already use today, such as the let and the const keywords and many other features. Let's start by learning them first. We are going to cover that in this next section.